Vasana and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to the Ottoman Palace which was built in the 15th century by the Ottoman Turks and before the second lockdown starts in Istanbul, unfortunately that looks like it's going to happen soon. Uh, I wanted to take you guys to the Ottoman Palace since a long time and today is the day. So I'll see you in a bit after I put my mask on and my jacket on because winter is here and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome to the first courtyard of the Topkapu Palace. The Topkapu Palace served as the main residence and administrative headquarters of the Ottoman Sultans. The St. Irene's Church is an Eastern Orthodox Church located in the outer courtyard of the palace. You can use your debit cards to buy your museum ticket from one of these. I have my card. After the end of the Ottoman Empire in 1923, the Topkapu Palace was converted into a museum. Welcome to the second courtyard, also known as the Divan Square. Hey! During Ottoman times, this courtyard would have been full of peacocks and gazelles. We are now heading towards the gate of Felicity. No one could pass this gate without the authority of the Sultan. The funerals of the Sultan were also conducted in front of this gate. The ceiling is partly painted and gold leafed with a golden ball hanging from the middle. Beyond the gate of Felicity is the third courtyard, also called the Inner Palace, which is the heart of the palace. It is a lush garden surrounded by the Hall of Private Chamber, the Treasury, the Harem and the Library of Ahmed III.
The Sultan is reported to have the custom to break his iftar under this bower during the fasting month of Ramadan after sunset. of this palace that is the back courtyard where which gives you the most amazing view of Istanbul from the palace so let's check it out <laughs> restaurant with a view. I'm not gonna eat anything because I ate before I left home. Also it's pretty breezy right now so I'm probably gonna freeze if I sit here. But yeah this is one place where you can sit and have coffee, tea, food, beverage, whatever you want. This looks like a perfect spot to take some pictures. We are now heading towards the palace's kitchen area. Guys, technically it's prohibited to take pictures or videos in some of these halls, but I'm going to take a risk for you guys to see what is in the palace's kitchens, just in case you're not able to come to Istanbul anytime soon.
every day must have been a busy day through these corridors. Here it says, this ball and plate are the type produced in China for the Middle Eastern and Indian markets. Back in the day. 18th century. We couldn't make it to the harems today but I'll put up some pictures for you guys to see. The Spoonmaker's Diamonds section is under renovation so I'll put up a picture of the diamond as well. Please don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye!